If my father had not come to England, none of this would have happened. Perhaps. Or maybe it would have happened to someone else. That's true. Waylaren would have hurt others. He's responsible for all this. And we'll prove that. If Stephen was responsible for the sinking of the White Ship, then he may have wanted the only witness of what really happened to disappear. But he wouldn't have done it himself, of course. No. Percy Hamley was the Sheriff of Shiring. Well, he could have ordered your father to be hanged. But he was arrested and held in Kingsbridge first. Prior James claimed that my father had committed theft. I wonder if my father ever learned why he was killed. Waylaren, Percy and James were behind the death of Jack's father. My father survived the sea, but those that were behind the sinking of the ship caught up with him in the end. Percy was involved in the hanging here in Shiring. He was the sheriff. My father was younger than I am now when he died. Waylaren will pay for what he did to him. James was the prior of Kingsbridge. That's where they say your father stole the chalice, melted it and sold it. But we know that's not true. As we found it. Philip recognized the chalice. But Bishop Henry wants a witness. The chalice isn't enough. But it's an important lead for us. I think we're getting closer. Waylaren and James probably thought no one would think twice if they claimed he'd stolen such a treasure. They made sure the people would see him as a sinner and demand for him to be hanged. This chalice was used during Mass to hold the wine of the Eucharist. Philip said that Prior James was an honest man, so perhaps Waylaren forced him to falsely accuse your father. Hmm. Maybe. That might explain why James was guilt-ridden. The monks still tell the stories about how James thought the devil was after him. Waylon's face when he saw the chalice, that should have been proof enough. <laughs> James claimed that your father had stolen the chalice and sold it. But instead, James himself hid it in Kingsbridge, in the crypt. We found his scourge in a bed down there. That secret chamber is important. We're close. Everyone thought Prior James was dead, that he broke into the ice. And now we know he was hidden away. Why did his monks believe he was dead? Subprior Remigius told everyone he had found James' rosary by the river. So everyone thought the body had been washed away. They buried an empty casket. But how is Remigius involved? Philip told me that Remigius was there when Waylaren made Philip prior. Waylaren and Remigius knew each other. That explains why Waylaren later made Remigius prior of Shiring. And Remigius recognized my mother when we arrived in Kingsbridge. He must have been there at the time my father was arrested. I think Remigius knows all about this. Is it possible that Waylaren told Remigius to make prior James disappear when James began to talk about what they'd done? When James started talking to the devil. But for some reason, Remigius hid him away. But Waylaren never knew. Yes, that explains why he really didn't believe you. When you said you had seen James in the fire. Where James died, after all. 
and Remigius thought no one knew. We have to find Remigius. He's our witness. Let's hurry. It's getting dark already. The trial will continue soon. People know you two. You shouldn't walk around showering like that. <sighs> He's right. I'll go look for him. Mm. All right. Take care of yourself. And Jonathan. Yes? We will talk later about what was said today. About Tom? All right. Remigius, now where are you? No one may approach the pyre. Why not? Bishop Henry's orders. Oh, all right. Do you want to go in, Father? No, not yet. Thank you. Are you not with Prior Philip? Yes, I am. I pray they'll set him free. He's a good man. He is a heretic! You're fools! Look at yourselves. Who are you to judge a man who has never hurt anyone? Forgive them, Father. We don't judge him, but God will. Remigius? I don't think he's here. Wait, was that him? I think I saw him. Hello? The door's open. Is anyone there? You had one task. By God! No! Our bishop is very... very... displeased. No! What are you doing? I'm doing what is asked of me. <laughs> Stop it! No, stay away! This does not concern you! No! Who told you to do this? No one! I, uh... <laughs> Why did he do this to you? I will tell you. I will tell... Everyone. Do you have a witness? Father Remigius, prior of Shiring. Where is Timothy? What they told you is true. Bishop Whaler wanted the jongleur Jacques Cherbourg dead. 
He ordered our prior James to frame him. And so he did. This is a lie! Is it? James lost his mind because of what he did for you. He was about to tell everyone the truth. And then you ordered me to kill him. Nonsense. Let him speak. I couldn't do it. I hid him. But he died in the fire. Jack saw him. It was him. I found the bones after the fire. And I buried them. You should put an end to this, Henry. You really should. Why would I? You should stop this for your own sake. You knew about all this. Why would I care if that jongleur lived or died? Your brother cared. The jongleur survived the sinking of the white ship. He saw how your brother's men killed the king's family so that he could take the throne. <laughs> this is preposterous. Bishop Henry and King Stephen ordered us to kill the man. You want the truth? That's the truth. Right there. It is not. Waleron is a liar. Regan Hamley. I have waited long enough for this day. It is time I raise my voice. The woman, Ellen, she spoke the truth. Three men were responsible for the death of the jongleur. James, the prior of Kingsbridge. The sheriff, my husband, Percy Hamley. But it was Waleron who was behind it. And only Waleron. No! He had heard rumors about the White Ship, about our king. He had hoped to win the king's favor by hanging an innocent man. But it was not just me. They all knew. Take him away. <laughs> this is for taking my husband's life. It was well Oh, we did it. It's over. Yes, it's over. Thank you, Lady Hamley. This monk must learn his lesson. The Pope would agree. This trial is not over. Philip pleaded not guilty, but he challenged the teachings and the authority of the Church. The ordeal of fire will take place. To show that the church is not above God. To show that my brother, the King of the English, is not above God. Not we, but God shall judge this man. This is madness! No, he can't do this. Philip! No! You cannot do this! This is now a matter of the church, Lady Aliena. My brother, the king, and I accepted the traitor Waleron into our midst. We were fools and sinners, even if we did not know. I pray that our Lord will save Philip from these flames, for his salvation shall be a salvation for all of us sinners.
Light the pyre! Ah, Philip. It is so good to see you, Jonathan. Tell me, how are things at St. John in the Forest? Francis is well. That is wonderful. Yes, he enjoys the life there. You look worried, Jonathan. Well, you have a visitor. He just arrived. Is that not a good thing, Jonathan? Who is it? That is just it. I wasn't sure if you wanted to see him. It has been a long time. Yes, it has. I had to know. Know what? The truth is, I never saw God or the devil. Have you? Oh, Lord, deliver us from evil. Our Father. Who art in heaven, my God, be there must name. be something we can do. Stop this madness! Are you heaven. blind? Do you not know that a fire will burn any man, no matter who he is? Why are you doing this? After Waylon's words, there is doubt in their hearts about my motives, about my brothers. No words can erase that doubt, but God can. Our Lord is a cleansing fire. Is this possible? 
It's all a matter of perspective. We have to stop this! No, Jack! Come. My God. No, but that's what they see. That's what they believe. The water. It's... it's dousing the flames. It's... it's a trick. To them, it's a miracle. The justice of our church. I believe Philip understands that now. His book will be destroyed. If you or your friends ever mention the white ship again, I promise you will take prior Philip's place. And God will not be as forgiving. Their faith in you and your church is restored. I say it was worth sparing that monk's life. Promise me that Waileran will suffer. Philip? Hmm? Yes? Did you see God? Did he save you that night? Philip is back. Philip! Did you walk all the way? Again? Just part of it. Old fool. Ellen stayed in Kingsbridge. I thought I had lost God, that he did not watch over us. But now I see him every day. He is in the good we do. In how we show our love. Jack's hands had become rough, his hair gray. But his eyes still burned bright like hot coals. It's good to see you. Aliena's gaze could be as stern as her father's had been, but her heart and wit made her a leader people did not follow out of fear, but out of respect and loyalty. Jonathan told us you had a visitor. Just an old friend. What do you think of this window? Jonathan came to look more and more like his father, Tom. As prior of Kingsbridge, he is also a builder of sorts. I use mostly warm colours. What good are the large windows if it feels cold? Sally is as stubborn and as gifted as her parents. It is her stained glass windows the light is falling through. She has children of her own now. And I'd like to show you the plans for the new cloister. Tommy will be the next master builder, and is as silent as his grandfather was. Once I heard him admonish his father to be more serious at work. Jack only smiled. He knew Tommy was right. Martha stayed in Kingsbridge as well. She was always there for every one of us. I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? Is the church done now? <laughs> it will never be done. Not in my lifetime. Not in yours. Remember us for what we did. For who we were. And maybe for what we tried to be. And when you turn your eyes to our cathedral, maybe you will see
yourself. <laughs>